your leader in sports coverage in Madison County. It's Sports Night from the Richmond Register Sports Department. Find out the latest Madison County sports information from Richmond Register Sports Editor, Nathan Hutchison, coming up next. Madison County Sports Night is brought to you by Adams Buick GMC. Sid says sell them. Snappy Tomato Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Metronet Fiber, Mindy Goble for City Commissioner, Madison County Emergency Management, and KYMedia.net. Does your business or organization want to sponsor Madison County Sports Night on the Richmond Register Sports Channels? Hit us up on social media. Abundant Hope Naturals, the official fruit smoothie for sports night. Come recharge with a delicious fruit smoothie full of protein and your choice of supplements. All right, welcome to Madison County Sports Live for Monday, August the 29th. Uh, Madison County Sports Night Live uh, for August the 29th. Live here from the Richmond Register Sports Office. Uh, my name is Nathan Hutchinson, as always. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Got uh, a lot of stuff to tell you about tonight uh, across a wide variety of sports. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it. We had a 44th District High School Volleyball uh, matchup down in Berea, Madison Southern taking on Berea Community. Uh, Lady Eagles of Madison Southern have been a little bit of a slump recently, five-game losing streak. Uh, but they were able to snap that with a 3-1 to one victory over Berea Community. It was 25-13, 26-28. 25-13 and 25-14. Uh, Berea putting up a good fight, win the second set there. Uh, but the uh, stats for Madison Southern, it was uh, Addie Spaulding with 11 kills. Uh, Jordan Walker, 10 assists, 9 digs, 3 kills, and 3 aces. Uh, Reagan Burns, 14 assists, 10 digs, 5 aces and a kill. Bree Dawes, 18 digs and 6 aces. Abby McMullen with uh, three, kill, uh, 3 kills. Uh, six digs and two aces. Uh, Abby Dees with uh, three kills and six aces. Anna Seals with 10 digs and an ace. And Campbell Price with three kills. Only other high school volleyball matchup on Monday night was the model uh, Lady Patriots heading up to uh, Bourbon County. They suffered a 3 nothing loss to the Colonels. 25-12, 25-16, and 25-12. 2-5 on the season now for model. I'll be back in action Tuesday at home against Harrison County. The model did pick up its first two wins of the season uh, this past weekend down in Pikeville in a little uh, four-team tournament they were in down there. So that's your high school volleyball update for the night. The All-A uh, soccer tournaments kicked off in Lexington on Monday as well. And, of course, one of the big stories so far early in the season for uh, high school soccer here in Madison County has uh, been the model Patriots. <coughs> and they moved to 10-0. Uh, and 0 on the season with a five to one win on Monday night up in Lexington over LCA. Uh, Keisha Bondari with two goals and two assists. Uh, Dylan Smith with a goal and an assist. Shalon Cuddy Poffenberger with a goal and an assist. Uh, Anthony Cole with a goal and uh, Maddox Sparks with nine saves. They move into the semifinals of the 11th region LA and they'll take on a really good Frankfurt team on Wednesday up at LCA. <coughs> I'm all choked up here, folks. <laughs> Uh, the other two first round games involving Madison County schools from the 11th region all a on Monday were um, the Berea community girls uh, suffering a 10 nothing loss uh, to LCA up in Lexington they fall to two and seven on the season they'll be back in action September the 6th <coughs> against Lincoln County and the Berea community boys suffered a 6-2 loss to Sayer in the opening round of the 11th region all a on Monday up in Lexington as well there's a Cannon Cummins with a goal and an assist uh, Matthew Isaacs with a goal. Uh, it was Samuel uh, uh, Boletario with an assist. 
and it was Grayson Thomason with uh, the five saves in the net. Berea goes to two and four on the season, back in action September 8th against Garrett County. Of course, uh, the other interesting news of the day, uh, if you were with us on the Richmond Register Sports Show on a Sunday evening, uh, we were giving you an update on EKU uh, football coach Walt Wells, who unfortunately had uh, what they are calling um, cardiac, um, I can't remember what the exact terminology was, a cardiac incident, I think is exactly what they said. Uh, I think we all know, unfortunately, what that means. But uh, uh, he had to, uh, Sunday morning, he was over at the EKU facility, had a cardiac incident, had to be taken uh, to the University of Kentucky Hospital. And so that left everybody kind of wondering uh, what his condition is and moving forward with how the what the team would do uh, with the season opener looming just on uh, Friday night uh, up in eastern Michigan. So, And we got the answer to that on Monday afternoon, and it is um, Gary McPeak will be stepping in uh, to take over as the what they're calling acting head coach. It didn't say interim. It said acting head coach is what was the official terminology. So he um, currently in his role is the uh, director of, of football operations at EKU, but he will now take over as the head coach. Uh, they didn't give us an update on Walt today, um, which, I mean, we understand that. We we totally want to respect his privacy and his family's privacy, so uh, you know, we're obviously not pushing uh, on that or anything uh, as well, but it certainly does seem like uh, it's, Walt will not be with the team uh, for a significant uh, period of time, unfortunately. So moving forward, um, and, it, and it was made um, pretty clear in the release uh, from uh, EKU Athletic Director Matt Rohn that they did this because they thought it would be the least disruptive situation. So instead of having an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator step in and take over as the head coach, uh, I, they wanted to kind of bring, I guess, I don't say someone from the outside because obviously Gary's uh, in the program, but they didn't want to take anybody out of their roles. And so they wanted to kind of make it the least disruptive decision they could do. So this is kind of uh, what they decided to go forward with. Of course, you know, uh, if you follow high school football in Kentucky, you know the McPeak family. Uh, his son is the head coach up at Frederick Douglass. And, uh, you know, Gary's been head coach at East Carter, uh, Russell. He's been at a bunch of different places, I think Lawrence County as well. Uh, I think he coached at, um, up in Ashland. He was involved with the Lexington Horsemen, the indoor uh, football team that we had a few years ago. So 30-plus uh, years as a coach, administrator, teacher. Uh, he's been an athletic director. He's been a principal. Uh, he's he's uh, got tons of experience. So that will be who the Colonels will be led by when they take the field on Friday night up in Ypsilanti, Michigan against Eastern Michigan. So we will get a chance to talk to him tomorrow. There is a Zoom uh, call at 11 a.m. So we'll get a chance to uh, hear from him there. And actually, I just got a text a minute ago to prove once again that we are live. <laughs> but, uh, Zach, uh, my buddy Zach, who works at the paper up in Ashland, I uh, actually uh, did get a chance to talk to Gary tonight, and he's going to send us over that story. So if you check our website here in just a few minutes, richmondregister.com, we will have a, a story that uh, Zach did uh, talking to Gary McPeak about his uh, stepping in and trying to uh, kind of, I guess, rally the troops here. It's uh, they can't imagine uh, what it's been like for the team and everybody to try to, uh, you know, uh, just kind of get, get ready for a season opener with all these other things that are going on. So uh, we'll uh, – We'll have to see what he has to say, but look forward to talking to him tomorrow as well. So that's about all we got for you today. Of course, tomorrow night, the big doubleheader down in Berea, uh, Madison Southern, Madison Central, boys and girls soccer. Uh, if you watch the Richmond Register Sports Show on uh, on Sunday, we, we had the Madison Southern boys soccer team in to, to preview the big district matchup, but uh, at uh, six and eight down there, girls first, boys second. It's uh, supposed to be on the grass, but with the amount of rain we had down there, Today, I got a feeling it's probably going to be on the turf, but I'll definitely keep you updated. Uh, Richmond R Sports on Twitter. As soon as I find out, I'll let you know, and uh, we'll be down there with some updates, and maybe even try to do a little bit of live video and stuff as well. So that's all we got for you today, folks. It was uh, an exciting day around the county. Uh, I swear, you never know what's going to happen. It's uh, this is crazy, crazy times we live in. So, but it always keeps me hopping. It always keeps me keeps me busy. So we're gonna close it out with a song. And tonight we're going to go out. We're going to go out heavy tonight. We're going to go really, really heavy. Are we going to go heavy? Out some Are we going heavy? Motorhead. Motorhead. Nice. There you go. <laughs> See, Randy stayed home tonight. He's not here. I maybe do this remotely. <laughs> I could do it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Yeah.
I never know when London I'm Hope Naturals, the official fruit smoothie for sports night. Come recharge with a delicious fruit smoothie full of protein and your choice of supplements. Madison County Sports Night is brought to you by Adams Buick GMC. Sid says sell them. Snappy Tomato Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Metronet Fiber. Mindy Goble for City Commissioner. Madison County Emergency Management and KYMedia.net. Does your business or organization want to sponsor Madison County Sports Night on the Richmond Register Sports Channels? Hit us up on social media.